Warning, the podcast you're about to listen to was recorded by three unqualified morons. So for your enjoyment and the enjoyment of those around you, please remember to rate, like, and subscribe to what you're about to hear. Hello, I'm RP and welcome to Previously Recorded. Previously recorded, I am your host as always, RP, and this is our Jackass episode of Previously Recorded, um, if you couldn't tell. To do this episode, I need my beautiful co-host, Bob and Shane. How are you guys? What's up? What's up? Yeah, that'll definitely Speaking be of good. beautiful, uh, um, Shane as a woman, beautiful, uh, we found out. Makes me question things. Like real yeah, it makes me question things, and it's a picture of me as a woman. I was telling, I was like showing, I was with Bill over the weekend, and I was showing him, and I was like, we were playing this game, like, all right, how drunk do you have to be to like, how many shots would you have to hit? And the honest, the honest answer for Shane was zero shots. I would, just, yeah. I would just hit it. Just go for it. Yeah, right, maybe guys, we'll post it if Shane's all right with it. Go ahead, post it. It's I weird. I think it's funny. I think it's great. I think it's, I think it's funny. So there's a picture also, from RP's wedding. Somebody put a filter thing on them turned us everyone was like transitioned to the opposite sex yeah for those um, of you who don't know that already yeah, yeah. Uh, wait so before we start should we talk about the elephant in the room producer nick really wanted to be a part of this episode but we told him you got to get clean first if you want to be a part of it <laughs> he did not get clean so we told him he can't be a part of it yeah I, I didn't know that we were going to air out his dirty laundry much like much like bam in jackass forever there you go rp there's your trans there's your transition yeah I producer was gonna, nick is addicted to spice <laughs> i was just going to leave it out open and let people think he actually has a problem yeah. and uh really cloud his judgment um but yeah Shit. so we uh and a lot of the nation actually saw jackass forever this weekend um it was the number one movie this weekend 24 million dollars at the box office every single jackass movie has opened at number one, it not only beats Spider-Man Homecoming, which is or No Way Home, which is continuing to do crazy numbers. Um, it beat Moonfall by by uh, oh, Roland em- uh, who em- Roland Emmerich. Roland Emmerich. Who would have uh, guessed? Who, I would have thought Moonfall would have been the next Avatar. Yeah, I just thought you know it's the new the new thing. If you're a director that you're not in the superhero genre, is to just criticize the superhero genre. This man said that Marvel and Star Wars is ruining films and cinema. He's made the same fucking movie for the past 20 years. Armageddon, Day After Tomorrow. He's all about disaster movies, which me, I, I have no problem Armageddon. with. Armageddon. I think Michael Bay's Armageddon. Uh, Michael Bay might be Armageddon. but he's He got was a... Day After Tomorrow. 2012 is him. Yeah. Uh, it's Moonfall 1. So those are definitely. Day is Roland Emmerich. Yeah, so those are they're popcorn movies. I'm not going to argue that people. I'm a big fan it. of disaster movies, but but they're not. Okay, don't don't act all high and mighty. Because exactly, you're not creating like Citizen Kane. Well, like you know, I what said mean? this. Like, I said this the other day. Scorsese criticizes superhero movies because he just doesn't get them. And now every nobody director who wants a little bit of attention starts jumping on it. What do you call Roland Emmerich a nobody director? But uh, still, he's a nobody to me. I don't know who the I, fuck he you is. Until you just told movies, me. You just didn't know his name. You just told me. Yeah, I would say because like my thing is with Scorsese, he's writing movies that are character and plot driven, mm-hmm. right? Roland Emmerich has no room to talk because he's writing movies that are explosion driven. So it's the same difference. Yeah, it's they're all they're popcorn movies. Exactly. I mean, like, at least Scorsese. Like I get that side. Like Scorsese just doesn't get it. Because it's like he to him, there's it's like an art, you know what I mean? Like, there needs to be this like crazy. And I wouldn't be surprised, I don't know if he said it or not. Did Scorsese ever seen any? No, I don't think so. I wouldn't be surprised if you watched them. Oh, okay, this is a little bit different than what I thought it was. I thought it was funny. His uh, daughter wrapped his Christmas presents that year in Marvel wrapping paper. <laughs> uh, he said that. Uh, I don't like to be honest, people have just it's a it's the popular genre right now. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a lot, but you can thank those movies for movie theaters being open still like that's what brings people to the theater and moonfall did not do that this weekend 
Uh, on a budget of 150 million, 48, 148 million, uh, privately financed or independently financed, it's, it's called. It made ten Frankly, million dollars. I'm I'm shocked. Yeah, it made ten million dollars internationally. I think it did about the same. Uh, so twenty. What was the dollars. budget for Jackass? Jackass budget was the same as Moon uh, Moonfall's opening weekend, ten million dollars. And they made twenty something. Yeah. So it's already a hit for a hit for Paramount. Um, yeah. So where do you think that hundred million goes? Like like dick clamps and bus clothes. Million, ten million. No, ten million. No, the, the, the hundred million budget. No, the budget is ten it million. Was ten. Oh, I thought you said the budget was the same as Moonfall. The Moon, no, as Moonfall only made ten million. <laughs> uh, Their budget was how much Moonfall made. Are you having a strip? <laughs> Oh my god, dude! The Batman was made for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> you see why I, you imagine if Jackass was a hundred million dollars? See why I'm uh, confused, right? Yeah, you'd uh, have like RP would have been like, "All right, we really pay attention to this one. This this dick scene was filmed in IMAX." <laughs> imagine if they had a hundred million dollars. Remember that scene from I think the third movie where Knoxville goes, "I'm going to the moon," and it just blows up. Yeah. He would have actually went to the moon. Yeah, Man, or he would have really died because the explosion would have been worse. Mm-hmm. Well, it actually <laughs> still would, it probably still would have been a better movie than Moonfall. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I don't know. Maybe we'll get a, a Jackass Five out of this because uh, there people like them. If they want to do it, I mean that's one of the questions. I know you're going to talk about it, but mm-hmm. we can kind of start there too, to be honest. So it's not like you need to see Jackass One, Two, Three to see Four. No, they no, want to do don't... another one, and they got funny enough skits. Yeah. I'm all for it. Um, so. To get well, to what the they can do with the with the I'm sorry, RP, but with oh, the God. at the end of the movie with that bonus footage, well, Jeff Tremaine was talking about how they can't really do the on the street stuff anymore. With the new cast, they can go back to that. They can no, go back so, to just fucking with people on the so street. The only reason they couldn't do on the street was because of COVID. That was the only reason. Oh, I thought it was because they're just too big and everyone. I thought it for Johnny Knoxville. I thought he probably couldn't get yeah. that stuff. They, like, they who dress doesn't, who up doesn't know who Steve-O is? Also, they but they also go to like Japan and shit when they would do that stuff. So they okay. just go to some weird country and do it there. Or which typically they couldn't do because of COVID. Or typically if they're in the street, they're dressed, they're like they're makeup, all makeup. Not like makeup. Preston and Wee Man, though. Yeah, they're nobody would in tiny whiteies and white t-shirts and running. Yeah. <laughs> um so we can use that, that question to kind of lead into our, our kind of our review for Jackass 4. I laughed my ass off a lot, not as much as the previous ones. Um, and I also kind of, I, I always look at kind of the, the last skit, if it's not like a theatrically produced one, like the, the one, two, and three, how they, or two and three, how they ended it as being like the best one. You know, we had Jackass 1 ended with the, uh, the toy car up the ass. Jackass 2 ended with uh, Danger Aaron in the trunk uh, dressed as a terrorist. 3 ended with the Poop Cocktail Supreme. All three of those are like three of my favorite ending skits. Or skits, some of my favorite skits in general, actually. Um, Or stunts, I should say, not skits. And this one kind of just, it kind of was just over. They, They made like a bombastic finish and and so some of i even argue that that wasn't like their big finale because of like pyrotechnics the stuff that was clearly like like they were trying to do the theatrical like ending yeah. of that one. yeah they were they definitely were um but i don't remember the one right before that so, Neither do I. um but some part of me also thought maybe they are kind of out of ideas i know they cut because you can watch jackass 2.5 and 3.5 and they're basically movies all in themselves. So they probably cut a ton to make another movie. But part of me maybe thinks that they might be at the end of kind of originality without redoing stuff. And even in this, they redid. I was going to say, a lot of this was them redoing stuff too. Yeah, which was still mm-hmm. fucking funny. Um, I uh, also think, because you said like you laughed harder at the other ones. I think we laughed harder at the other ones because we know what's coming. And it's like almost like funnier when you know what's about to happen. True. And like the little lines, like anything Pontius says, once you know what's going to happen and then it comes, it's like almost funnier. So I think if we were to rewatch this, we'd laugh just as hard. Oh, I, I like, I'm not, tr- I'm, I'm not trying to sell it short. I was cracking up at parts. There was, there was one where I was like almost in tears and I can't remember what it was. And you were dying laughing too. Cause I heard, I heard you. Oh, I, I was like me. smacking shame, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, I couldn't remember either after the movie, but that's the only problem with Jackass with me is that like, there's so much so fast mm-hmm. that like I forget about shit because then like ten minutes later there's something else that's hilarious and I was forget that, about what I was. Was that maybe 
Aaron and uh, Dave when they shut the lights out on them? No, I that was that was the second that, skit of the movie. But I don't I, think it was that one. That was that was hilarious. Um, but a part of me just kind of thinks maybe they are, maybe they're not. I don't know. It, it was still really funny, worth seeing. Um, but also that I did like how they they're older. They can't do this shit anymore. So they did introduce some new cast members. Um, and I, I'm okay if they were to do a fifth one with them, mainly them doing, as long as they're still around because they're one liners. The them, little cr- stuff. Them yeah. cracking up. Like that's what makes Jackass funny. It's not just the stunts, it's their reactions. Yeah. So uh, I'm, would... I'm the same way. And I think that kind of hurt this one for me. It was like at, at the start, I didn't know the new guys. Mm-hmm. So like it wasn't as funny to watch them get mm-hmm. hurt until like. I, they started to like kind of go through the character and you kind of like got to like see what their personalities were like. Like see, Steve-O would, is always funny because he's a fucking lunatic. Yeah. I would love a fifth with um like the new cast and then it's just Pontius and Eric Andre just kind of like do their little one-liners throughout the whole yeah. movie. The two of them together was one of my Eric favorite. Andre, the, that scene, the Scorpion Botox thing. Yeah. The one-liners in that scene alone were some so of good. the funniest things that I've heard in a long time. I was, t- I was telling my coworker about Pontius with the – so there's a new cast member, Rachel Wolfson, um, who we have this debate. Is she hot? And I think it's kind of been settled that she she is. She is, um, but you're also watching a movie where you're just seeing dick all the time. So it's very easy to be like, there's a girl. She's hot. Yeah. Uh, so she gets a Scorpion bite and – um, it falls down to her shirt, and she's like, "Get it off me! Get it off me!" And Pontius is like, "I need your consent to touch." Yeah, without touch skipping your... a beat, like this, yeah. there's a scorpion crawling on this woman, and he's like, "I need your permission to get the scorpion <laughs> off of you." <laughs> um, so I, I did really enjoy this. I think um, I don't know where it falls in terms of like if I were to rank them, um, because I remember being in you know really in tears with Jackass two and and three the poop cocktail supreme i couldn't breathe when they did that the first time when i saw that for the first time in theaters Uh, but i I really enjoyed this it was a nice addition um and even like they're older they're still doing stupid shit like knoxville shoots himself out of a cannon and he told i read knoxville gets into a knoxville gets into a bull ring again yeah oh he legitimately could have died with like yeah he, so, he does not take a hit like he used to. No, that, and that's what I was going to say. So he, he shot out of the cannon, and he said he couldn't sit down properly for two weeks. after. Yeah, he hit the water he, really funky. Well, he said he took all the pressure from the – all the impact from shooting out right on his tailbone. Really? Um, yeah. So what did I, – I, I've monopolized the conversation. What, do you, what did you guys think? Shane, you haven't really uh, had a chance to say anything yet. I, I liked it a lot. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the new cast. Um not so much Rachel because I feel like she didn't really do much. She was a comedian. And I think that's why they brought her in. Just I like love, I'm a huge fan of Zach and uh, Poopies. Mm-hmm. I think they're both hilarious. I instantly loved Zach. Poopies he's, he's... might be one of the dumbest people <laughs> I've ever <laughs> seen. So inter- like, I didn't interact with I don't know with if him. I'm a fan or not of Poopies because he's so fucking dumb. He's so dumb. Like, I just. Like I didn't interact with him, but I watched a movie with him for an hour and a half. So I feel like I interacted with him and he might be one of the dumbest people like I've just ever been around. So this this is actually the first jackets that I've seen in the theaters. Oh really? I've never I haven't gone and seen any other ones. Mm-hmm. I well think that's I saw two and three. Yeah, I saw I saw I definitely didn't see the first one in theaters. No, I saw two, uh, which we'll kind of get into later, but um Bob and I I saw three opening weekend and then i saw it with bob on a tuesday um because that's when you leaned over to me and you said all right if you see a good if you see a good trailer just say really loud after it's over wow that looks yeah. good that used to be my bit whenever there's like a really bad trailer i would like very loudly lean over as if i was whispering the rp and be like i can't wait to see that movie <laughs> but like loud enough where everyone around me could hear it uh but what I really was- like that what uh like Shane? What was what was something that you really liked about the the new movie, and what's something that you you would have changed or that you've seen in the other ones that you thought was missing from this one? I kind of liked that they were going back and redoing old bits, like as old older men. I w- maybe it got cut. I would have liked more of uh, Knoxville and the old man get up uh. running around <laughs> the fucking people. I don't. I feel like he wasn't really in it much except for when he got shot under the roof. 
It looked like there was more in the credits though, so it might be it. Yeah, it's, so maybe they have four. They have more deleted scenes it. coming out or something. Jackass four point five exclusively to Paramount Plus. It's got to yeah. be queued up. I mean, like I said before, uh, the new guy Zach is my favorite part of the movie. He's he, I was, thought he was good. He was awesome, dude. He like yeah. he had like no fear. He was doing everything, and I yeah. thought like he was going to be the next Preston because he was a, he's a big guy. So I and Preston doesn't really do much. So I was like, I mean, he's. he's Honestly, he's kind of like like a new fat Ryan Dunn. Like he's just up for anything. He's laughing the whole time. Yeah, I uh, like Jasper too. Yeah, I liked him. I liked his dad. And well, that's I like what he brought to the table because there was a couple things like he didn't care. He didn't give a fuck about anything either. Like he was willing to do everything. Mm-hmm. The I don't know the British guy. I don't remember his name really, but he seemed like he was just there to like take. Oh, the take hits. Yeah, I don't. Remember, but what he was, was like his name. Like he skated into the wall. Like he was just there to do like that dumb shit. Yeah. But Jasper was pretty funny, and then he brought his dad into the mix, which just made it better because his dad was like. Is his dad like him. Black Knight or or Dark Shade or something? Dark Shadow wasn't his like dad's like criminal name that. <sighs> Hold on. That they referred to. I gotta him look at. it up now. It is something like that, but it's not that. So, oh man, that shit was so funny. And dark, he's like, shark. Like, dark, dark shark dark shark dark shark he's like my dad's you know my dad's his ogs he come you know he's a thug like you know criminal big time and then he's like he's about to fight everybody over uh the when the the spider was crawling around uh, well that's actually really funny now i didn't because they just call him jasper jasper's last name is dolphin so the fact that his dad goes by dark shark is very funny to me <laughs> for some reason but um but bob do, what i asked shane do you have anything to add to I liked the idea of them revisiting stuff. And then I liked that it was like stuff that Johnny Knoxville had done originally and they were just making Danger Aaron do everything instead. <laughs> like we yeah. as we were leaving, Shane like jokingly was like, Did Danger Aaron lose a bet? Like yeah. he just got his <laughs> shit kicked out of him for an entire film. I um, think he's just incapable of saying no to a skit. I don't yeah, I don't know what case. it is anymore. Like, I don't know if any of those are his idea or if they're like, Hey Aaron, you want to do this? And he's I, like, fuck it, why not? I think a lot of it was he didn't do like the most like fucked up stuff that like hurt him in the other ones. He, he always did, did the stuff where it was like gross pubes on your face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if maybe he wanted to step it up. He was like, I'm here, I might as well. Dave England looked like fucking rickety cricket. So I don't know if he could have done anything. Um, he might have been just the one who's in the best shape as far yeah. as like being able to take a stunt. Mm-hmm. I agree. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I think well, I said it to you guys really too. Do. Um, Rob himself wasn't in the movie at all. He was in one of the end credits. He was doing. He was. A, he filmed. Oh, okay. Because it was the um, <clears throat> the triple wedgie or whatever. I think. Yeah. Did that. He was he like the original. Like, uh, Johnny Knoxville was like, I'm surprised Rob himself isn't doing it. And he goes, nah, man, I learned my lesson. But they cut to him and he had a camera. Yeah. He's like, I learned my lesson. So I'm sure he was like around for all of it. I'm but curious. He, just can't, he just can't do the hits anymore. He just didn't I'm, feel like doing them or whatever. I'm curious if he left when Bam left. Because they're obviously they're kind of like a package deal. Because like they're his buddies. I don't know. Because I, don't know, I feel like there's it kind of like starts to transition over to mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know how any of that works. I didn't mind not having Bam. No, nope. people it, at all. There wasn't anything that I felt that he would have added. Um, like he's he's in terrible shape. He he looks like Phil. Like he looks like Phil now. So I think that's anything else to add about Jackass Forever. Um, I, so. I was fuck. What was I just gonna say? I did have something I want to say. Maybe something you didn't like. Oh, did, did Pontius didn't really do anything crazy either, did he? Mm-hmm. No, I wonder if they're just like, I'm too fucking old. Like, that's what, um, at one point, I think Preston was like, we paid our dues. Now it's like your turn. Yeah. And I think maybe that's just, they were just around. The, you know? We saw it with uh, extra, it was like a, basically like an extra like interview. Jeff Tremaine was interviewing the new case, and then the original guys came in. Because we went I, opening yeah. night because we're real fans. We love yeah, Jackass. Yeah. yeah, we are Jackasses. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I enjoyed that. I was like, it wasn't like a, a more additional stunts. It was just like them kind of talking about the circumstances, like how it came to be and stuff like that. I thought that was cool to add on at the end. Like apparently Johnny Knoxville just like randomly hit up Jeff Tremaine, like, hey, let's get the band back together. 
Like that's funny to me. Mm-hmm. Just so, like, hey, we haven't done anything stupid in ten years. Let's fucking come back. So he uh, he actually turned down SNL for Jackass. Apparently, I was I was looking at an article today. I didn't I didn't read it all, but it said we Barstool posted it said we want to thank Knoxville for choosing Jackass over SNL. Um, well, like they they wanted him to be on the cast. I guess I don't know. I I, I guess it would have helped if I read the article. Yeah, uh, <laughs> really glad you brought that up. You just um, saw the you just saw the clickbait story and ran with it. So while that was our inter- introduction to the episode, <laughs> let's kind of talk about our introduction to Jackass. So Shane, how and when were you introduced to Jackass? Uh, I don't know about when, because um, I think when did the first movie come out? Like two thousand. 2001 2001 so i probably didn't get introduced until closer to when the second was coming out but it was my dad like we would always watch the reruns of the show and then we always like i said i didn't see any of these in the theaters we had them on dvd probably watched one two and three like 25 times each like we just just watch it all the time so it was always him that's funny how about you bob so the tv show started in 2000 I don't think I was. I watched it till like probably the next year. I watched it in middle school. Like I remember watching it when it came out. Pretty sure they aired like Sunday nights, and we would like sit around and like wait for it. But uh, yeah, like me and my brother watched it. Friends in school watched it. It was one of those things where like you'd watch it and then the next day talk about like, oh, did you see? You know what I mean? Like you like looked forward like the lunch table because what Jackass last night mm-hmm. and like talk about like the dumb skits that they did. By the way, I just looked it up. While he was filming the pilot for Jackass, they reached out to Johnny Knoxville and offered him a, a job on SNL, and he turned it down. So it was actually like right at the same. It's not even like Jack Jackass was like had blown up yet. Yeah, that's according really to interesting. Uh, the the article I fit, I just I just read real fast. So I read part of it. I didn't read all of it, so I'm only partially better than RP. <laughs> but that's that's what it just said. But yeah, I mean, we watched it growing up. I don't think I saw the first movie in theaters because I don't think uh, anyone was going to let us do that. They, I might have snuck into it. I feel like I definitely snuck into the second movie at some point or went and saw the second movie because I still don't think I was 17 yet. Uh, the third movie, I was fine. I know that for sure. But like I saw them all. I, saw, I, I know I saw two in theaters. I know I saw three in theaters. Obviously, I saw Forever in theaters. It's something about for me it's like so much and then it's the same thing that happened when we were down the shore like watching them with a bunch of other like just idiot guys and then laughing about the idiot guy stuff yep. makes it funnier yeah it's it's a hundred percent a group it's a it's better as a group well, you can sit there and crack up and watch it on your own but it's a definitely group environment movie um to well that's that's what kept happening at the the previously recorded retreat weekend where like every night I'd be ready to go to bed. It'd be like one in the morning. And then you'd be like, Hey, let's watch Jackass. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. Put Jackass on. And then we'd be up to like four o'clock giggling and watching Jackass. At one night, everybody went to bed and I put on the gum bar alley. Cause I was like, I'm not done with Jackass yet, but I, I fell think, asleep. They didn't have friends anymore. I think that was the last night. It I was, was it was Saturday time. night. How did that even start? Who suggested it? It was such a long drawn out conversation that happened. So we, <laughs> started talking about Wait, how talking like, about i can i can walk you through the circumstances but it's going to be so like illogical to the listeners so we started talking about yeah, the creature in the wall oh yeah, yeah, yeah. which uh marvel <laughs> referred to as lenny kravitz yes which uh, led, and then we were talking then we started talking about elmo the elmo like being angry <laughs> at rocco thing. so we looked up like the the, the like video for that and f- for like it was on like gma or we looked up lenny kravitz or lenny kravitz just happened to be in the thing that we found so the guy it was yeah it was on good morning america that's what it was so we started talking about rocco and, and elmo i look at the video because i hadn't seen it um now i can't remember kurt it wasn't kurt loader but the guy who was reporting mtv Kravitz, that's right yes he was an mtv vj like news person mm-hmm so then I was like, that, that, that guy was definitely an MTV news person. So then we looked up a, a video of him doing MTV news in like 2000. And he's wearing like ridiculous clothes. Lenny Kravitz is dressed like an alien, which might have been where we got the Lenny Kravitz in the ceiling uh, idea. And then from there, it turned into like 
Jackass, or maybe one somebody from Jackass popped up or something like that. I, forget I what think it was. it was probably now that you, never, I remember it now. I think somebody, either somebody did, or uh, I don't remember if it was me or somebody else. And I was just like, MTV used to be good, and I was like, because they were in the t- uh, um, was it TRL? Was that what was like their music? It was TRL, and Chris Connolly is the guy's name. I couldn't remember. Mm-hmm. His name. So yeah, like, they were in the, they were in the, the TRL like studio. So and I don't know going around. I don't know if it was like I was like, because there was one time where the jackass hosted TRL. So I don't know if that's how it came up. Uh, I don't think it was like a natural no. this to that thing. Because I feel like we talked about Pimp My Ride for a little bit. It was like, very we like old jackass. Well, I think years. I think we were just talking about like because we brought up like how how good MTV used to be, and I think we were just yeah. talking about all the shows, and then Jackass eventually came up. And we're like, let's watch it. And next thing you know, Bob now has Jackass 1 and 2 in his library. <laughs> yeah, well, RP had them in his voodoo, but didn't have them in his voodoo. So yeah. we bought well, them. the third anyway. one. <laughs> All right. I, I own the first two. That's how it came up down the shore. But uh, my... We watched, we watched one Friday night. We watched two Saturday night. And then we didn't make it to three. We didn't we get watched, to three. We watched we a little watched. bit of three at your house the one time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I finished and, it. As I was cracking up. Hope- we just hyped up four for a while. I was cracking up at uh, um, Danger Aaron going to pin the tail on the donkey, and he's just shaking, and he gets hit in the nuts. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, my introduction to Jackass was I in, in two, when Jackass number two was coming out. I was in fourth grade, and I had a group of friends that liked it, um, and they kind of, I had no idea what it was, so it kind of introduced me to it um and i had my parents were like okay like you can watch the first one like that's that's fine like watch it at home just like obviously don't do any like don't attend i'm a fragile person so i don't even know why i would ever attempt one but we had it you know i watched it and we were excited for the second one and me and my friends were like let's make our own jackass yeah and uh so my one friend was like let's you know Let's record it and then we can bring it into school and, and show it at the end of the year. And I'm like, you're you're an idiot. I'm like, no, that's that's you think she's going to teacher's going to put that on. I'm like, no, you're dumb. So it even led to a point where, like, I got out my parents like old video camera and like uh, we were like going to do something. And then we just never did, because that's what everybody does is you never. That's, just... <laughs> that's not at all where I saw that story going. I thought that story was going to end with like you in the hospital or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it, if we did do it, that's probably what would have happened. Um, but I remember just being it, like so scared to say jackass in school that I always just be like jackass. Like we like we like our friends would like always talk because you're like fourth grade Catholic. Yeah, you were younger than me. I think we would just kind of talk about it. We might have called it Jack A if we had to. Yeah, like that probably would have been the smart one to do. It, but we're always just like, hey, like yeah, jackass is coming up. Like, did you? Are you... <laughs> Uh, so then we, we went and uh, a parent bought us tickets and obviously they're like, you have to go in. How old were you when you saw the second one? So we saw it, uh, fourth grade. Yeah. So I was, it was 2004. So I was 10. Um, that's awful parenting. Yeah. In retrospect, yes. That's bad yes, how, yes. Your parents are bad for letting you do that. Cause I remember you. my, my parents... dad definitely never watched it with me. Yeah. <laughs> no, but taking people to well, the TV show is one thing. My dad definitely movie? didn't show me the first movie when I was seven. So Did you, when you were seven years old, that's when it came out. My that's not like I was 10 when it started. So the it, movies were I was like 13, 14. It wasn't my parents that took us. My my mom, I remember my dad being like, I'm not taking you to see it, but if somebody else's parents do, like, okay. At least um, your dad, Shane, was like, uh, I'm not gonna do this in public. We're gonna do this behind closed doors. <laughs> somebody else's parent was like. Eh, fuck it. Let's go. You, if, we're, if we're gonna watch it, you might as well get popcorn. So <laughs> the parent took us. He's like, "I'll just buy you the tickets, and you can go in." And then the person at AMC was like, "You can't do that." So then this random stranger in front of us was like, "Yeah, I'll take them." Like it was like him and his girlfriend. He's like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll watch them. They can come with me." Um, and so we watched the second Jack one. Jackass is a community. That's yeah. what. We, that's what it comes down to. I don't think if I was in that position, I would have done that. Um, but it, the guy, the too, I would feel like creepy. Well, it was also. I'll take those six, 10 year olds with yeah. me. It was three. Yeah. It was three. I'll, <laughs> I'll, take these, I'll take these random children in here to see this dick movie. So it was like, um, I don't know. He was just like, you guys are going to be cool, right? And we we're like, yeah. Like we were just so. That excited. sounds like somebody that touches you later. You're not going to, you're going to be cool. You're not going to say anything. Maybe that's why I have such <laughs> you're not going to tell anybody. Maybe that's why I have such a good experience about the movie. Uh, <laughs> 
but uh we were all like yeah yeah we will like we are we're you know super excited to see it and i remember like cracking up seeing it and that was kind of like my introduction you were like you were like sir don't worry I'm actually a cast member of Jackass. <laughs> Me and my friends all made our own video. Yeah, it's actually pronounced Jackass. Jackass, <laughs> yes. It's, it's French. It's a French film. Um, yeah, then, you know, it kind of just started from there. I, I was, I got, I have volume one of this TV show. Um, it's not as funny. I never um, bought the TV show, but I used to, we used to like religiously watch it. It's all, I'm pretty sure it's all in Paramount Plus. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I never bought it when I was younger before that. Now you can get, you can access a lot and of it. And then by the time that. three came out, you know, I was, I was old enough, uh, I believe, I think I was old enough to go to the theater on my own and uh, be sorry. I don't know. I don't, I don't think you would have been. Ah, uh, no. Three came in 12, right? Yeah. So I was, was it 2012? It was 2012 then, definitely old enough. I um, think they, I think that's what they said was that it's been 10 years. Yeah. I was in high school. When it came out, I remember that. 2010. It was 2010. So I saw it with a couple friends and died laughing, and then me and you went and saw it again in yeah, 3D. Yeah. In the 3D, because you had to see it in 3D, and that's kind it of my one of the few films I was ever like, all right, I, I, I we're going for 3D. Yeah. So that's you that know was, when that was a thing that people like cared about. Yeah, it was Avatar's fault. I think this is a this is a good one. That's where seeing in 3d like a 3d movie well, 3d was funny because they're playing up the fact the idea of 3d so it was like a yeah. dick coming at your face oh, <laughs> so funny like even just like putting the sensor up on pontius's penis and the penis just keeps moving and the sensor bars like back here and then you just <laughs> see his dick I'm like all oh, that stupid shit man it's so funny so that's our kind of history of jackass so do you ever think you would be stupid enough to do any of the stunts and if you if you were which one would you do? Which one wouldn't you do? I absolutely know that I would. We used to play. I mean, this is like the arcade equivalent of Jack Ace. This is like the closest we could get. We used to play a game with the Vortex football where you would sit in the street just like, I don't know, 30 yards away from each other, just with your legs wide open. That's That's straight out of the show, I think. I, I don't know if that's from the show or where I where we yeah, started. They do doing they it, do something we, like that in the show. We would show. just try to hit each other in the nuts. Or it was a uh, distance. There was one with Knoxville where he would sit. They and did it with like a was, ball. Somebody was on top of like a two story building and they were dropping shit down to try and yeah. hit them. And we we would just do that all the time. And then like 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 more like when I say all the time, I'm not saying we try this once. Like it was like a game that we played more often <laughs> than we should. Like legitimately a lot. Um, so there's shit that I definitely like wouldn't mind doing. Even down at the previously recorded weekend, Jackass kind of pervaded its way into like dumb shit. Yeah. Uh, anything with like the animals, I think I would I would feel uncomfortable with. Mm-hmm. Like Danger Iron and the bear yeah. was making me uncomfortable. Like yeah. I was, this bear can't have teeth or something. Like there had to be something going on with that bear. And I guess they have the trainers there, so like they. They're a little bit safer, but that one was like like anything with that, the bees and all that shit where it's like, I wouldn't want to do any of that kind of stuff. Nope. So that was kind of what got a, a question that got answered for me in the new one was like, I was always like, how are you getting away with like the animals doing this shit to you? Um, and then all just really came back to is they just said, don't hurt the animal. Like you can do, the animal can do whatever they, it wants yeah. to do. Um, even if it's eating meat out of your ass crack or a, an apple out of your your ass um what but i feel like, like i was gonna real quick though i was just gonna say like when we watch i feel like when we watch it's always like i would do that or i wouldn't do that <laughs> i would do that i would like i would yeah, do the mousetrap yeah. thing from jackass one oh, or two, oh, yeah. whatever it was um, like, I, I feel like i could handle it it would suck but i would do it like there's like little shit that i would do but most of it i feel like i'd be like that's crazy like like bob saying anything with the animals like when when steve did the the tightrope walk over the alligator mm. like I don't care if you have an animal handler there or not. It's a fucking alligator. Yeah. yeah. Like, that thing is going to tear well, you I mean, apart. That's the thing with like Jackass 4. They were like, um, you know, that bear was getting awfully close. And you, they saw the shot of the, yeah. the the trainer who was like, all right, we got to go. We got to get him out. And like anything can happen. So, I mean, yeah, ugh, I don't know. Anything with an animal, I think I'm out too. Is there is there one you can think of that you really do want to do? Because I have one off the top of my head right now. One I would 100 percent do is Party Boy. Like that's one that I would definitely. <laughs> I didn't like count do. that. Yeah. One um, one that I would love to do is when the Knoxville does the rent a car um 
demolition derby <laughs> oh my god i forgot about that so that's the one i said i would never do i just i could oh, that one's one of my favorites i love that I one i couldn't fucking deal with having to give that car back i don't I think, think i could live so i think i would laugh too much to yeah. like be able to say, oh yeah <laughs> That, that's one of my favorites when he when he goes back for the sex dolls and gets it out of the car dude like, <laughs> <laughs> i love that one. Oh man uh, any of them you definitely good. wouldn't do wouldn't or what wouldn't i can't even watch when they do the paper club yeah. one yeah, I, mean, paper I think one. that's across the board What's yeah it? we we, the second, through it we watched um the second movie i think yeah uh, yeah the one that i can't I even s- watch it Ooh, cocktail cocktail for sure the one that i said i would never i could never do the sweatsuit cocktail where he drinks preston's wrapped in in uh like a saran trash wrap bag. yeah and they get they drain all the sweat and steam it's super drink. disgusting for me to say this but if it wasn't preston i wouldn't possibly consider it. like preston <laughs> is such a girl like he fight, i feel like he's got shit stains all the time he literally shits himself <laughs> Like, I just feel like it, he's just such a gross individual. Like, remember, I, remember when he sh- they're doing like the fart tube thing, and he just leaves a, a straight up perfect turd in yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, that dude's, dude's kind of gross. Um, uh, that would gross me out. And then one of the ones I, I another one I probably I said I wouldn't do the rent a car. Um, and then anything with snakes, man. I just I freak. I hate snakes so much. So anything with them, I just got yeah, and ad- just animals would freak me out, you know, because yeah. I like you said, like I don't know what they're gonna do. You could say that you have them under control, but like, so like yeah, like so when when poopies, like the mime thing, when he had to get bit by the snake, no chance. Oh no, yeah, no, no. Take your stuff. I feel like I could deal with. Uh, I also Electric, don't a- think- Electric Avenue, like when they did that in the second one, I think, or yeah. the third one. No way. But one, I, think I, could, I, I would try it. I would try it. I'm not one lie. that I definitely would like to do the high five. That that, that would be that's I, you you put on the thing like our favorites. Anything that's like an office, like very nonchalant, like where they're like saying hi to people as they walk in in the morning. <laughs> What's those that, are like, the funniest ones for me. Yeah, I love it. That scene when when uh, Knoxville's just like in his high pitched voice. He fell for the soup. <laughs> he fell for the soup. <laughs> <laughs> like when they, I forget who it is. It, it's it might be Bam. It might be Don. He literally just falls like perfectly straight backwards. Yeah, when they hit <laughs> well, that's they it's do the one funny. with the the fake note from a fan, oh, and they they, yeah, they yeah. pull a chair up to it for Wee Man to step up just to ah, knock yeah. off of the chair. <laughs> oh man, uh, and. Okay, so that's that's some of them I, that we can talk about. But do you have a favorite stunt like that you could like? I gotta watch this one, then I can turn it off, or or I just maybe even fast forward to it. One of mine is the Anaconda Ball Pit. I think Poop Cocktail Supreme is is up there because I was in tears. But the Anaconda Ball Pit, not only because of the stunt itself, but the one line is from like Pontius is like. Oh man, that killed that thing killed uh J Lo and and uh LL Cool J or whatever. Whoever's in the I think it ice is, cube. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like <laughs> it's shit like that. And then the music that's always get gets played in that in these scenes. Like so that one is Johnny Are You Queer, which is a song that I love because of that movie. Um uh, so that I think that's like really up there with like m- one of my favorite stunts. Um I, I like the one where they uh I, I can't remember if it's the second or the third where it's like Don and Wee Man and somebody else, they're in the limo. And they think they're going to a photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. And they just dump a bunch of bees in and then put the marbles <laughs> out when they finally let them out. That one cracks me up. Yeah. I did, it's always just the reactions that makes like that shit sucks. But then he's like, dude, dude. And he's like he's kicking kick the window. The window. <laughs> yeah. And it's like the dumb, the, the dumbness of like, all right, yeah, we fucked him up with the bees, but let's put marbles outside the door too. Let's just how <laughs> like home alone that is so then let's make them slip when they get out and then dave also, just got some piss on his pants from i also <laughs> really like the one in the bar where uh we man <laughs> and his and his girlfriend and they're like he's fighting with the other little person and like the little person cops come in yeah, <laughs> yeah that one's great and like the bar is just hysterically laughing mm-hmm. i don't know if, like i have like one Anything with Pontius makes me laugh. And, like, I kind of go back and forth between, like, the show and the, the, and then Wild Boys and, like, all the others. Like, it's all, like, a blur to me. Mm-hmm. I'll say, and I already said it in this episode, I could watch 
the gumball rally like a billion times and it's not even stunts like it's just them driving in this like cross europe race but it's all those little like one-liners and like we yeah. say it all the time pontius as soon as they hit russia every time it's russia like russian police. police stern stern but fair yeah. my dad my brother said it the other day did he really <laughs> yeah it's one of those like lines that it's just so funny. Yeah, that's me. what I liked. Me and Bob connected on that because the one time I just like, I think I just said it to you and you were like, dude, that's the best part of the gumball rally. Right? <laughs> yeah, and I was that's... like, yeah, I was like, you, I was like, you get that reference. And yeah. I love one the of gumball those rally. And rewatching, rewatching one and two. It, it wasn't ever something that I thought was super funny before, but the scene now, like I, 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 I I've gone back and rewatched it and showed it to people when they have like the animal or like the aqua marine biologist or whatever, I don't even know who he is, <laughs> yeah. the trainer. And yeah. he teaches them that sea cucumbers like spit when they're afraid. And then it just cuts to Pontius like jerking off the sea cucumber. <laughs> and the voiceover is like, he starts with, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or no, he goes, I made the mistake. Oh, yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. And then at the end of the, the sound clip, you, you see him go, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you hear is Pontius underwater, like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that was when Pontius had the firework on his dick, and yeah. he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like her. Like, just like their their jokes that they make. It's just like why we love them. Like, uh, Stevo is just like you know in the first one he was going to do the toy car in his butt, and then he was just like, I, I called my dad, and like I just I couldn't. Like he just was like. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. And so he's like, I couldn't do the stunt. So that's why Dunn did it. And then like Steve-O's or uh, Noxo will be like, you know, sure, a fish hook in, in, right, in, right in your mouth with uh, pants full of chum. But, uh, you know, jumping off a 30, 13 foot ladder is too much or something. He says something <laughs> like that. Well, that's, that's like, like really in funny. the new one. Knoxville gets he does this magic act. And he gets absolutely demolished by a bull. Like, the worst, yeah. like, stunt I've ever seen Knoxville as far as, like, I was scared. I was, like, I, I obviously I knew he was fine, but I was, like, wow, that was ugly. And as they're, like, put stretching her into the ambulance, he just goes, that bull really, really didn't like magic. <laughs> like, it's just, like, the dumb shit that they say uh-huh. despite getting hurt. I also, when it comes to, like, not being able, like, saying what we could do and can't do, I was never like they were all like skateboarders and stuff. So I feel like you build up a tolerance for like some of that pain. Just like yeah, just getting like smacked in the shins and all that little shit. Or like breaking bones. I've never done any of that. So I feel like I say I could do it. And the second I had to, I probably just get really hurt and be fucked. Yeah, I wouldn't. RP, you just reminded me of uh one of my favorite Don moments. We used to like their little commentary. RP. Uh, uh yeah, RP. When he brands the dick on Bam. <laughs> Yeah. and they show it to april and she's like she's like why would you do that to him and he's like it was funny yeah. <laughs> well he's like he's like man moves away so it's all fucked up and it's like on there twice yeah he's like what you what you do he's like you want to sit still <laughs> it's legitimately just so like i always say if i ever stop laughing at farts that's yeah. it for me like jackass is like the the the, the, the cinema representation of that theory Mm-hmm. Like if I ever say, I can't imagine going into one of these movies and not laughing. Like yeah. just thinking, it's like this is disgusting. This is silly. what do you guys think? Martin Scorsese thinks of Jackass? <laughs> That's a great question. I'm actually, more what interested in what Roland. What do we Emmerich think Roland does? Emmerich? Thinks, yeah. especially now that it just beat out his dumb movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think like he he has to put up the appearance that he hates it, but like in private, he's, he's just like, like he, sitting there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he got kicked in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- and I think I don't think we covered that, but what was your, did you guys have a favorite stunt from the new one? Mine was the, the torment room. That shit was hilarious. Torment room was really funny. Uh, uh, I, I liked the, and there's, like I said, there's that one that we talked about. I can't yeah. remember what it was, but there's definitely one where I was like hysterically laughing. Mm-hmm. I liked the scorpion thing just because of the one liners and Eric Andre. I liked the one with the like vulture same situation though just like the one-liners that went with it but like skit wise they were they weren't like anything special um but yeah like the torment room i feel like was the most like planned out and then pontius in the background Mm -hmm. dancing like buffalo (laughs) (laughs) one of the ones too 
real quick is just that I probably would never do is in the third one or it's the second one where Rob Baronis kicks Preston right in the face with the football. Dude, that's the worst. Like you yeah. watch it like break him. Oh, you know, in the new one, I was like laughing hysterically at the cup test. No, like across the tough. board. Yeah, that was that was tough to watch. Uh, especially the pogo stick. The pogo stick was rough. He definitely must have fucking lost a bet or something. We're doing all those. The Queen Bee was funny. I would never have done that. But it's just like when they built the new hive and it was like moving with Steve's dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so one of the my favorite. Oh, Shane, did you have anything from the new one? No, I was just going to talk about the, the cup test. Where I just oh. I just like how they, they tell Danger Aaron that a lightweight is going to come punch him. And then <laughs> yeah. Francis and Ghani walks in. He's like, that's not a fucking lightweight. <laughs> you tell me he has the hardest turn punch of all time. Yeah. And he was even like, you have to really do that right now? Like they use the, the he's boxer. Like, <laughs> he's like, maybe don't tell him this. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, he goes, uh, have you ever hit somebody in the dick that hard? He's like, no, I've never hit it. I've never tried to hit somebody. <laughs> uh, so one of the one of the things that I love about these movies is their their opening scenes and their closing scenes. I, I always find them pretty funny and like pretty theatrical. Uh, if you guys have one, what would be your favorite opening scene and maybe your favorite closing scene? If if you uh, don't have one, you don't have one. I think favorite opening is uh, from the third where they're all dressed like circus performers and they're, they're walking around and like, I think they're walking around like a movie set. Right. Yeah. And everyone, it's like everything's just kind of rainbow. blowing up on them. Mm-hmm. I really like that one. Um, um... Especially the end where the, where it's like in the old West where like the, the side of the house. Oh, no shame. Down. That's the, that's the close of the second one. Oh, okay. What's the, what's the opening of the first one then? The opening of the third, the third one, one is when like a big rainbow, like the, the dick house rainbow. Mm. Bruh, okay. okay. Uh, so uh, it starts <clears throat> off with Jack Knoxville getting hit in the face with like a basically what they use on the like the coffee cart, and it just says 3D on it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Here, this. See if this helps. Okay, yeah. I remember. Okay. Yeah, okay. Wow. Good job. You guys both <laughs> just pulled up the same exact photo. Yeah, good job, yeah. That's that's honestly, my honestly. Then if too. if that if I mean talking about op- the, the 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 fourth one the opening was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I don't want even want to like. I don't want to spoil that because yeah. like, obviously the skits are going to come out. But like that was one of those things where like we 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 sat down and it just starts and we all like I know Shane and I at least looked at each other like all right yeah they're not pulling punches like they're just going to jump right into Jack. I knew but, exactly what it was immediately too. So I mean, fucking... and if we don't we don't we don't want to spoil too much, but then you, they pull back and you see it's Pontius. I think like out loud I was like oh fucking of course it's Pontius. <laughs> Yeah, I look. I, I like leaned over to Nick, and I was like, "Yeah, I know exactly what that is." <laughs> I think for me, like, it's not my favorite, but the shopping cart scene is like, oh yeah, it's iconic. The like iconic like jackass thing. So I always think of that one more so than any of the other ones. Although I do like the other ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, but... have, like, I don't think I have like a favorite. The opening scenes are just like, I really enjoy the third one. The third one makes me laugh a lot. Um, so. There's just something about hearing that phrase, like you just said earlier, like like when you started our show today, like Johnny Knoxville. This is Jackass. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. It's like, all right, we're gonna see some dumb shit. Let's go. Yeah, I just like get. I said on the way there, or when I got there on Thursday, I was like, I think I was more excited to see Jackass than any movie that wasn't Spider Man, probably in the last <laughs> like four years. Like, I felt like a little kid. I was like, oh, my God, they're going to do such dumb shit. <laughs> it was definitely good to be back. And so I think, like, with that, I definitely would love to see a fifth one just because why not? I mean, you have you you have it lined up with the new cast. Keep the old guys around, come up with ideas and little bits. Do you think in the fifth one, though, that none of them would really do any of the stunts I anymore? I think Steve, I would still do stuff. I, I think, think that would be still, still do stuff. I think if they ever get to the point where they're making movies and they're there, but they're not doing any of the stunts, I think that'd be like upsetting to watch. Yeah, well, it would also be. It would be because like I even like. It wasn't until like the end of the movie where I was like, okay, I'm cool with these new guys. But like, yeah, you go to these movies to see them. Like these are the guys we love, um, and we think are hilarious. And then at the end of the movie, I was like, oh, you know what? I do like these new guys. But 
they kind of just like rush you in with these new people and i think it just took a little bit they also did a lot of stuff in this one that was either like not anything super extreme mm-hmm. or like or it like wasn't even really that bad at all like the the, the like blackout room thing mm-hmm yeah, like, yeah. No, they were just true. freaking out because it was all psychological. Like it was yeah. just all they thought things were in that room that weren't there. I mean, I think Zach still fucked himself up. But. Yeah. yeah, then he jumped into a fucking cactus too. And I think that might have been what was missing. Like there wasn't like one stunt that I was besides Danger Aaron in the cup test. That was probably the worst stunt in the whole. The bear, I think, was worse in my opinion. I mean, I know that's the cop like. I, I, yeah, he's taking a harder hit. I know what you're saying, but like the bear was just so potentially Honestly, bad. I think I would take the bear over a snake biting me in the face. I I could not have gotten an exclusive. No, absolutely as he not. Got. I'd rather take the bear. Like, fuck it. I was just looking at like what had the most injury potential. Yeah. Knoxville. Knoxville getting hit by the bull. Ah, uh, the the bull. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but it it's just funny. You go back to watch like the first time he does that with the bull. He just gets up and laughs it off. And then this time he's like out. <laughs> well, he yeah, well, he got fell fucked bad, up. Yeah. yeah. He did a full 360. But, he got fucked up. But uh, I, I like I, I would like to. And I think as long as they're there, as soon as they're not there, I'm out. Even if they're don't maybe they do one stun or two, but as soon as they, they're gone, I think I'm out. And I also think that they're like aware enough where like if their ideas aren't that funny they are or they aren't that good, they're not gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Like, even though they were kind of going back to the well with some stuff on this, they were going back to the, like, the whole cup test thing. They go back to the well, but they're also like, yeah, but we have better connections. Like, let's get P.K. Subban in here. Let's get yeah. this UFC fighter in here. Let's get this softball pitcher in here. Like, let's actually do it. Instead of having a bunch of little kids come up and kick you in the dick. <laughs> let's, like, let's make, let's make, let's get $10 million, you know? Yeah. No, 100 it's- <laughs> Let's get some moonfall money out here. Yeah. And make it happen. Two two movies with the same budget, the Batman and Jackass Forever. Hundred million dollars. <laughs> I'd love to see a hundred million dollar Jackass movie. There'd be so much giant dicks. It would be crazy. Oh my god. The amount of props they would have yeah. that were just penises would be yeah. unbelievable. So I think we are all kind of in agreement. If they were to do a fifth, they would as long as they're there, slightly involved, making the laughs, I'm I'm in. Yeah, like I don't want to watch poopies run the show. Yeah, or like, you know what I mean? Or like, like Jasper run the show. They're funny. Even like if Eric Andre was there, I don't want to watch his jackass. I want to see Johnny Knoxville and Steve O and Pontius and mm-hmm. Wee Man. You know what I mean? Like I want those guys at least involved. Yep, absolutely. Shane, you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Perfectly fine. Johnny Knoxville is just. Done. running the stunt like he did with most of the stuff i feel like this time mm-hmm. like he was just like in charge of hurting other people <laughs> yeah that's what i mean like that's that's kind of what i think was missing and it didn't take me till the end to be like okay this is fine like um it's just that he was just kind of running the show uh, yeah, i mean think of how many concussions that man has probably had like yeah he's paid his dues like they said yeah. he's paid his dues a lot of those stunts he he was probably told by a doctor he should probably sit out <laughs> so well one of the <laughs> i just remember the one, the one pontius line where like they blow up the porter potty, and he's just God, like yeah. he's just like people are there's like a there's a pandemic he's going like, life on. Life isn't hard enough. Life isn't hard <laughs> enough. <laughs> you I just can't leave people crazy. alone. It's a pandemic. Is if life not hard <laughs> enough already? So, I was just I could never be on that set. I'd be paranoid that something was going to happen to me. He's just so effortlessly funny. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It's so yeah. ridiculous. Well, like so that's my thing about like the effort, like the the paranoia on the set. Those ones are the ones that like make me laugh the most, and they're just so fast. Yeah. Like this one, Knoxville had like the the uh, it was like the pitching machine, and Steve walked out of his trailer and smoked him in the face <laughs> like a volleyball. I was like hysterically laughing over <laughs> that, and it all happened. And then the funniest thing to me with those things is like Steve gets smoked with this ball, and he's laughing harder than anybody else. <laughs> Yeah, the I, I think uh, one of the ones that made me give me a good laugh too is when the guy walked out with the milkshake tray and he just fell and he's just like, <laughs> just broke. yeah, he's just 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 like he just stood there. Just was walking. it was it Eric Andre that they got him at the at the coffee cart? Yeah, and then they're like, they all Eric right, Andre, like Jasper give Eric or they were like give him his coffee now, and he walks up and then another one hits him in the dick. Yeah, 
He's like, I just wanted a cold brew, man. <laughs> now Poopies, think- they, Poopies, they got in the dick. He, he's, he's the one they got twice. Yeah, they got Eric Andre once okay. and they showed them getting other people. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Poopies, they got twice. <laughs> I need to see this again. Um, so I guess kind of to, to close it out, what's one of the spinoff shows from Jackass that you have enjoyed? Or, or it, it can be Bad Grandpa, Wild Boys, Viva La Bam. Um, what, what, you know, what's your favorite did, of those? Did Bad Grandpa get a show or was it just a movie? Oh, it was a spinoff movie. Okay. Definitely Wild Boys, most of all. Mm. Just Wild Boys is just such a great combination. Yeah. yeah. Wild Boys was really good. I was always just a huge fan of Viva La Bam. I so watched Viva La Bam like religiously, and I agree with you. But like mm-hmm. when you think back on the idea of Wild Boys, it is just so perfect. Like Steve O does not care because he's probably like, completely high at that point and all drugged mm-hmm. out. And then Pontius commentary for a half hour every week. Yeah, I think I just I don't have any like Wild Boy memories, but I have like core memories of Viva La Bam, like when they create the, the rafts. Babe, we gotta get to the Delaware Ocean, bam. Like <laughs> like all the Vito shit. Like it's just it's so Vito. V- I, I said R. I. V. Yeah, too. He's dead too. Well he was also like a pedophile. I said but I said jokingly yeah. oh, oh yeah, that's right, one he was. Day. I that, forgot. I forgot I actually forgot about that. I did too, but I was like, yeah, Vito was like a hero when I was a kid. So I was like, he was a hero, like he was a pedophile. I, was like, I said I was a kid. Like that's stuff <laughs> I like, I'm not gonna go back and rewrite my childhood. And then they're like, he was a hero, he's like a fat like idiot. Apparently, somebody from that I work with is from Westchester, and they said he used to just like, like get super drunk at Wegmans and have to get carried out. <laughs> so I was not surprised me and I'm like, that guy was your hero? And I was like, yeah, because he made me laugh every week. So I like really enjoyed that man. I said, I don't know what you want me to say. I'm not going to I'm not going to walk this back. <laughs> like, I re- yeah, that's actually really funny. Um, I, I don't know about that situation. Whatever, I forget what happened. He got charged. We looked it up. He yeah. got, it, it was all like, yeah, Legit. it wasn't like a bullshit. Yeah, like I know, yeah. I remember Bam being like his bullshit, blah, blah blah. But of course he's gonna nah, say that. It's, it was legit. I remember the one thing from Viva La Bam that just like stays with me to this day. Dushan Mandic. They were like in, the, they were like on the road, and they were in a bar. It might have been Bam's Unholy Union. I, I can't remember. And the bartender's name was like a small bar. His name was Dushan, and his last name was Mandic. So Dushan Mandic. And that just, for whatever reason, that name is... I don't remember that at all, so... (laughs) I mean, I don't know how I forgot, either. Yeah. Now that you're saying it. Just stupid information that I hold in my brain. What's your name? Dushan Mandic. What? (laughs) Dushan Mandic? That's right. (laughs) Is it like Crazy Friends or something? Dushan Mandic? (laughs) Dushan Mandic is almost better than Dick Buttkin. Shane, were you Wild Boys, too? Uh, Yeah, I loved Wild Boys. I mean, I also watched... Leave people to bam as as much as you did, mm-hmm. but I don't know. Just um, Stevo and Pontius and who was the Manny? I can't it was like, Manny. He was like Manny. the trainer, but I forget his name. Manny and, and Manny. Yeah. Just the three of them is just it always used to crack me up. Mm-hmm. I used to, he I used to watch it. to watch Wild Boys all the time. He wasn't in four. I wonder if he died. But why? Manny is he sixty-eight oh, no. years old. Yeah, I don't okay. know why he wasn't in it. Maybe. Huh? Well, I mean, he, he's sixty-eight, so maybe he maybe just he's retired. Can't do it anymore, and that's why they got the other guy. Yeah. Uh, he had his, he has his own shows and stuff too, so maybe that was what it was. Uh, maybe I think we're, we're missing one thing that's one of my favorite parts of all the movies when What's they that? fuck with they fuck with Lance to try and get him to throw up. <laughs> yeah. I think he's throwing him up every not movie. taking his mask off. Uh-huh. He, he threw up in the mask. He's like, he's like Can like, I get a new mask? Yeah, that was like insane to me. <laughs> I think I think he's thrown up every movie he or does. any any time in the movie where they go after Jeff Tremaine's point of view too. Yes. Yes, that like was like when they had they had him. He's like, I have one in my the yeah, taser. He's like, I have one in my pocket. Film. I couldn't yeah. get it out. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. I hundred percent agree. It's like, it's crazy to me how easily they all throw up too. Like they're all just like, you know, like a guy shits and they throw up. Yeah, well, I think I would be all right, but also who knows? I've never been around a press and shit. Where I said that dude's pretty dirty. He is. Um, <laughs> but I think. That kind of about does it here. Uh, some news today. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi will be coming on Disney Plus May 25th. 
and we are going to have our March Bractacular uh, month coming up. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, go see Jackass Forever. Anything to plug, guys, before we go? Um, I've been really enjoying Peacemaker. Yes. Dude, it's been so good. It's very, it's very good. I haven't, so good. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, yeah, dude. It. Like, way, finish. like... I expected it to be good because it's just like you can tell how how much fun John Cena's having. Yeah. And it's just it's him James, like it's James yeah, Gunn. It's way better than I expected. Mm-hmm. I feel the exact same way how much I'm enjoying <laughs> it. Um I just beat the Guardians of the Galaxy game. Uh I understand Shane's notes of gameplay, story mode, story, fantastic. If you like the Guardians uh Abnet and Lansing run, you would absolutely love this game. Um so I, I recommend that it's pretty dirty. It's like, it might be like 20 bucks on the PlayStation store, or Xbox store, or wherever you play games. So I recommend that. Um, and Bob, anything that you've been watching or reading? Not really. Um, just the same, same old stuff. Boba Fett. Yeah. I got to watch that. Today. I have like 20 minutes left. I actually have it on the screen next to me right now. Cause I was watching before we got on the zoom. Um, I, I finished it before we started. Finale is actually pretty good. I'm like I'm interested. Uh, Marvel sent us a text while we were recording about how there's only three sets because they do like stay in the same spots. Yeah. <laughs> it's your favorite but, uh, planet, Bob. It's just Tatooine. It's Tatooine all day, every day. It's the uh, most important planet in the galaxy. While I've really enjoyed episode five and six, I have to say overall as a series, I'm really disappointed. I. Do you know why you enjoyed episode five so much? The Mando. Because because it's an it's a Mando episode. Yep, well, that's I think I think that six like we, is too. Yeah, I, I like now that I'm getting through the se- series this season. Sorry, I think it was just like a hey, we don't want to do a full season of Mando again. They we are. We want to kind of tie them in because once you get halfway into this season, season, like now he has the shit set up on Tatooine. They've explained the Sarlacc pit. They've explained his time with the Tuskins. And now you bring Mando back, and it kind of all keeps tying together. And it's, I also think it'll set so up many, like what's going to happen the next season. I also yeah. think so many fans loved him in the last season of Mandalorian. People were probably asking for him to have his own series. Yeah, he was and, awesome in that in season two. Yeah, he was it's, awesome. In this, it's what Marvel keeps lame. bringing up. He's just getting his ass kicked so easily. He's not. He's better in in this the finale. I think he Bo- does. Yeah. There's a really cool RP. You'll see there's a really cool scene with him and the Mandalorian in the finale. But like every episode before this, he's just getting his ass beat like yeah, so easily. It wasn't. He's, he's always been cool because he like, he does, you know, he's kind of mysterious. doesn't really talk. <laughs> That's all he's like done. So like the first four episodes could have easily been two. And mm-hmm. I would have been fine with that. I understand what they had to explain some stuff. Um, and, and they're, they're obviously they're building towards something, you know, if it's in a, you know, a quote unquote Avengers type of event for Disney Plus, where it's just like all the characters coming together from Disney Plus, from the cartoons and whatnot. I think but, it's more they're expanding, like they're using this to expand the live action galaxy. And also, like, if you think about it, there was some stuff to talk about with Mandalorian based on the finale of season two. But they've covered a lot of that stuff in this, so they don't have to waste episodes. True. Of like, all right, what's going on with the dark saber? You know what I mean? Like that's already been like established. So now season two, you can kind of jump, or season three, they can kind of jump right into that stuff. Like I feel like this is almost like an in between show. Like it's half Boba Fett, half Mandalorian. Yeah, I, I just like my whole thing, and it's kind of just run rang true until episode five. I, one, didn't realize, like, how much I loved The Mandalorian until I was watching this. And, two, when the season show started, I was like, all right, when's Obi-Wan? And, like, I shouldn't be thinking that on the first episode. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge Star Wars guy. Uh, You know what what one of the main problems with this show is? They don't leave Tatooine. Yeah. That's why the, the, um, the Mandalorian episode was awesome. Wherever the hell they were, that was so cool. Mm-hmm. Like that planet was so cool. I loved it. Uh, that was that was such a good episode. Was that Cloud City? No, it was not. Is that what you're talking about though? Because it's had the same thing where like they were underneath the city, like in Cloud City. That's the only reason I didn't know where what if it was. That it was like sure. this, like U-shaped, like it looked like a vessel, 
like a ship. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like when they were underneath, like I was like, oh, that's. I don't know where it was, but it re- gave me. It reminded me of that when, like. Yeah, it was cool. I, I, I thought it was really everything. cool. So it felt like so. What we're done here, I'm gonna go watch Boba Fett. Um, but I'm glad I had something to watch. But now I have to wait until March until I'm. You know, I mean, it's only a. It's really at this point two months because we're in the middle. We're the first week of February, the first. You know, we're on February 9th, but like that's the, that's the only problem with Disney Plus is sure they have like little things, but it's these big series are so far and in between. It'd be nice like, to have them like back to back or like without a week or two in between. Well, yeah, I think it's well, that's good the way they're they're, oh, sorry. they're releasing it week by week because they have these like big breaks in between shows. Yeah. Like imagine if if we if I finished Boba Fett five weeks ago. I hate. I hate that model from netflix i hate it it's a smart business decision too because you mm-hmm. don't want to spend 200 million dollars on a show and somebody talks about it for a weekend like that's what always happens with stranger things people talk yeah. about it for about a week and then it's over the, mm-hmm. where you know the amazon learned with the boys and this you spread it out i like it it gives me something to look forward to every week but then also you know like okay the this week and this week and then i actually do i like it too because then i can't just like obsessively only do that until it's done I also feel like I forget more when I binge. Yeah, so do I. That's why, that's why I, I like pace. I like I'll watch like an episode a day, things like that's that. That's what yeah. I, I do that as like, well. Stuff like Stranger Things, I end up watching the season again just because I forget what happened. So, well, that turned into our Boca Boba Fett episode. Yeah, seriously, that's um, all it needed is a, is a little fifteen minutes at the end I, of an episode. I agree. Maybe uh, so. We didn't have Star Wars last year. We, then nobody needs to listen to that anymore. Yeah, no, we're done. Star Wars. We need to figure out another one. Uh, but we have a brackets coming to you and uh, we'll figure something else out. But uh, if you like what you heard here today, remember to rate, like, and subscribe. Recommend this to a friend. Uh, leave us five stars and check out our merch store in the bio of the episode. Check it out. Buy some stuff. We haven't bought anything since we all bought stuff. So we need the monies, people. But uh, thank you guys for listening and have a good one. Listen in plastic cups before we went on stage. I'm RP and welcome to Previously Recorded. That was horrible. Uh, I'm assuming you're going to re record that. Yeah, I'm no, keep it in just like that. We just weren't talking, but I was like, as soon as you started, it was like, bow, bow. Bow. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Three jackasses and microphones. This is the previously recorded.